Hello guys, my name is Akshima Agarwal. Today we are going to discuss the difference between partition by and group by clause. Both other clauses are profoundly important to analyze the data set. And both are used to aggregate the number of rows present inside the result set. But there is a slight difference between the working of these two clauses. Now let's discuss that particular difference. First is group by. As we all know the group by is used to group the rows of the result set based on the values present inside another attribute and it is used along with the window functions such as sum and average now what are the window functions window functions are basically used to aggregate the rows so that we are able to take the combined result out of all the tuples which are present inside our data set. And moreover, the group by rows are used to roll the data which, are, which is present inside the data set and gives you only the aggregate values. Now, what is partition by? Partition by does the same thing. It aggregates the number of rows which are present inside the result set, but it preserves the original result set. See, if we have the 15, num 15 tuples present inside a table, then with the help of the partition by, we are able to include additional columns inside the table, but the number of rows remains the same. Partition by is basically preserves the original data set which we have. And it is basically used to calculate the running totals or the commutative values. Now let's discuss the example so that we are able to see the difference and understand the difference very clearly. Here we have a table that is EMPB. Now we have the columns ID, name, salary, and department. First of all, I'm going to use the group by clause. Now, here I am taking all the columns which are present inside the table that is select asterisk, comma, average salary as average cell from the table name EMPD and group by department. Now, I want to aggregate the values by using the window function that is average and based upon the department. See, what output am I getting? That is ID, name, salary, department, the unique departments and the average salary present inside the department. Now, I am not getting all the values which are present inside our original data set, but I am just getting the aggregate values. So, this is the result of the group by clause. Whereas in the partition by clause, I have written the query by using the over clause. Over clause is used to aggregate based upon the condition. That is the partition by. Now, select asterisk average salary over partition by. Partition is based upon the condition that is based upon department from this table. Now, as I am seeing the output of the partition by, that is we are getting the ID, name, salary, department and average salary. Now, I have added a new column of average salary inside our original data set so that we are able to compare the salary of each employee with the average salary of the department in which he or she is working whereas in the case of group by clause we are not able to compare the salaries we are just taking the aggregate values based upon the number of department present 
inside any organization. But with the help of the partition by clause, we are able to preserve our original data set and we are able to compare easily of compare the salary of each employee with the every salary of the department in which he or she is working. Now, let's see the practical view of the data. Now, this is the MySQL interface. See, I'm just going to run the queries one by one. First of all, let's see the data which is present here. That is, this is the data. I hope it is visible. The ID name, salary and department. Now, I'm going to use the group by clause. Select steric. Just taking the average salary as average salary. I'm giving the allies from the table name and the group by department. See that result. Now, as we are seeing the result, Based upon the department, unique department, we are getting the every cell. Now, let's use the partition by. Select. Steric. Every. Salary. Over. Partition by department as its salary from table. Now let's run this query. Now you are able to see the difference by your own. Now, all the names, the salary of each employee and the salary of each department. So this is the basic difference between the group by and the partition by clause. I hope it is clear to all of you. Thank you.